Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can perform instant segmentation using YOLO V7 model. So once we train our model on instant segmentation, our model will predict both bounding boxes as well as the mask, instant segmentation mask around the detected objects. So let's begin. So the first thing is I want to show you the versions which I'm using. The Python version I'm using is this 3.8 and then the torch and torch uh, CUDA version is this torch version is 1.8.1 and the CUDA version is 11.1 and the GPU on which I'm working is RTX 3090 okay so after uh, now what we want is we want to perform instant segmentation using YOLO v7 model so for that this is the github repo which we are following right this is the github repo okay so we will clone this github repo so that's what I'm do doing clone the repo once you clone the repo so in this folder I'm working once you clone the repo you'll get this kind of folder YOLO v7 folder right when you'll open YOLO v7 folder you'll see all the files and folders which we just cloned from the github repo all right so once you clone this and you entered in YOLO v7 folder after that you have to clone the detectron 2 uh, repo also guys uh, this YOLO v7 uh, required detectron 2 modules detectron 2 is the base of this YOLO v7 so that's why we need to uh, do the whole setup for detectron 2 that means detectron 2 should be installed on your PC then only you can run YOLO v7 so now what we are doing is we are installing the detectron 2 uh, inside the YOLO v7 repo okay so clone the repo and using this command you can install the detectron 2 we are building a mod, um, detectron 2 if this step is successful you will get this kind of output okay successfully installed detectron all right now our detectron 2 is installed and you need to install these two modules also and you can install it using the pip okay so now till here after these steps your um, uh, environment is ready now you can run your instance segmentation code on it now guys the next thing is data set so for this example the data set which i'm using is that data set is available on internet you can download it using this okay wget once i download that data set i'm unzipping that data set and after unzipping that data set what I have done is inside this YOLO v7 folder inside the cloned github repo YOLO v7 I have created this folder with the name of data sets this folder was not there you have to create this folder okay so I have created this data sets folder inside this data sets folder I have placed the balloon data set folder which we have downloaded from internet just now and when you'll open it you'll get a balloon folder and inside that there are two folders train and well and inside the train folder you'll get the training images and the related json file this json file have the annotation details of it okay in the same way for validation you can see the validation images and the corresponding um, json file annotation file so this is the data set on which i'm working so i uh, i hadn't created my data set okay so i'm using the this data set and we can see what all steps to perform to uh, create our custom uh, this uh, instant segmentation model all right so this is the data set now what i have done is initially okay now guys uh, one more thing i want to tell you you can see here this is the json file which is under uh, the train folder inside this train folder this json file i'm showing you so you can see the f uh, the data set is in this format we have like this then we have image name file attributes then the region shape attributes name is polygon these are x points and y coordinates so in this format we have the data set so this data set is not in a coco data set format okay so and guys yolo v7 model accepts the data in coco dataset format so that means if this is your data set and this is your annotation file looks like then the first step is to convert this annotation 
details into the coco dates uh, coco data set format right so and coco data set format simply means this kind of format so i have created this file and i'm showing you so this is how coco data set files looks like okay give me a second yeah so we have information description images then you will have the name of all the images over here and then categories categories means how many different objects are there you want to classify means the number of classes you are working on so we are working on one class so that's why the under category we have only one class name balloon so suppose if you are working on three different classes a person truck or car then you will have three names over here person car and truck okay so and then we under annotation we have annotation detail of all the images so this is how coco data set uh, format looks like and this is the format which we are using so now our task is to write a function which will convert this annotation file into this format okay so let's uh, write that function so let me show you that function so guys this is the function this is the function which we are using to convert our data set into a coco data set format okay so what we have done this is the function name and one argument is required and this is the json file the name of the json file is this remember let me show you again so this is the name of this json file okay now no need to change anything all these things are present if you'll see your json file you'll see all these um, things keys are used over there okay so, but we there is no need to change anything just write the name of the json file which you are using over here and guys remember one more thing the json file name in the train folder and the json file name in the val folder the name is same okay this i'm using the similar name all right now we have uh, we have uh, written a function after that using this code using this code this train and val is the folder name okay which folder name you can see your data set train and val all right so so we are working on train and val folder one by one and this line is responsible to um you know register your data set guys if you have seen my previous video on yolo v7 on um uh, for object detection over there i have told you like whenever you want to work on yolo v7 you need to register your data set first because uh, this is how it works it is this yolo v7 is based on detectron 2 and detectron 2 also works in this way only we first need to register our data set then only our model can use their data set to work on it so if, uh, let's suppose if you are working on coco data set format suppose if your data set is coco data set format then you only need to write these two lines so i have shown you uh, this way in my previous video object detection video using yolo v7 in that i have explained you like if your data set in coco data set format then by writing these two lines you can um, you know register your data set but right now our data set is not in uh, coco data set format so that's why we have written this function which will convert our data set into a coco data set format and then inside this loop we are using this method data set catalog dot register this dot register will register your data set okay uh, and you can see we are using a function this get balloon dict this function okay so by using the these two lines we are registering our data set in uh, yolo v7 all right so uh, this is how i have converted my data set into a coco data set format all right now the next step is let's go back here let's go to the yolo v7 folder now you can see this file my image segmentation training what i have done is i have copied i uh, this train underscore uh, instance segmentation this file i have created another copy of this file and renamed it to this and i have written my code in it and uh, after that 
Okay, let me open this file and show you. Okay. So, so you can see the code over here. This is the uh, guys. There is no need to change anything. This is the code which is already present over there. Okay. Now you need to do one more thing, which is just go to the config folder. Inside that config folder, create your folder. Right. So I am working on a balloon dataset problem. So I have created this name uh, folder with this name. And when you will open it, I have one configuration file over here. And this configuration file I have copied from this coco hyphen instance folder. So I have copied this file from here. Okay. So once I copied it, I paste it over here and then open it. And you can see here inside this data set this balloon underscore train and this balloon underscore well these are the uh, uh, these are the we have registered our data set and the training data is registered by this name and validation data is registered by this name okay and after that you have to tell the number of classes so we have number of classes one balloon class okay so that's it guys this is what i have done in this configuration file and now now if everything is ready now what we'll do is we'll train our model okay so for training python and this is the file remember i have created another copy of okay give me a second i have created a another copy of this file this is my custom file so now using this file i'll train my model okay so this is a training file configuration file is inside a config folder we have created another folder with this name and inside that we have this configuration file where we have mentioned about our data set like uh, we have uh, we explained like where is our training data and where is our validation data we have registered our data set and we have written the function name in this file right and how many classes we have everything is in this right and the number of gpus we have mentioned after this training will go on you can see the training is going on okay and once the training is completed you will get a outputs folder inside that output folder you will get this balloon yolo mask folder when you will open it this is our trained model this is the configuration file using this configuration file and using these trained weights we will now perform the instance segmentation task so let's see now okay so let's go back here and now let's test our model so for testing our model i have a file my demo.py now what i have done is okay let me show you so we have one file with the name of demo okay where is it yeah this so i have created another copy of this file and then renamed it to my demo okay and now i'm running this file my demo now the configuration file which we want to use the configuration file we just got in our output folder right in output folder we have this folder and inside that we have this config.yaml so let's go back and see again output folder this folder and this config file we are using okay and after that input i want to work on this image the image which is present in test images folder this test images folder i have created myself and i have stored few images on in it and we can work on it and the threshold value i have uh, i've written over here 0.27 you can change let's write uh, 0.5 okay and then the model weights we are using from the output folder from this this is the model underscore final dot path file this model final dot path file we are using this okay and when you run it let me run it so you can see this is what we are getting you can see that masks are not proper right now because i have i haven't trained for uh, lots of epochs i've just trained for few epochs and you can see that we have uh, this mask right 
and we are getting the bounding boxes also for bounding boxes you can see our label is how much confident 99.9% our model is confident that this is a balloon right but for the mask we are not getting uh, uh, accurate mask there is uh, there is some uh, you know uh, we need uh, more epochs to uh, train our model so you can see that some of the masks are not proper this kind of output you will get when you um, you know execute this code okay so this is how you can run your instance segmentation model so uh, i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching